pizza stones. Most of us have one or two of these kicking around, but we don't always know what to do with them. Now I like minimalism and everything in my kitchen must be able to do more than one thing. You guys, pizza stones are for way more than just making pizza on. Join me today as I make 10 easy recipes that anyone can make on a stone. I love baking with stoneware and I can't wait to share with you guys my ideas. Hi there, I'm Jen Least if you're new here and I'm from rural Ontario, Canada. And I'm raising a large family. Behind me, you can see my stone collection. And truth be told, I use my stones multiple times a week and I have for the past 18 years since I got them as wedding gifts. You can see how black they are. That just means they're super well seasoned and non-stick. I am not kidding when I tell you that they are definitely one of my favorite kitchen tools to use. And if I had to choose between a really expensive stainless steel kitchen baking pan or a stone, I would definitely choose a stone. And the reason they're so great is truly because once they're well seasoned, they're non-stick. You don't have to worry about carcinogenic Teflon flaking off into your food. And they bake so evenly and well, they result in just the most crispy, delicious food you can imagine. And I, for one, just love that kind of natural tasting good when I use my stones. So you can see here I have a couple different kinds. I have the round one back here that's your traditional round pizza stone. I also have one here that has a bit of a lip on it which is really great and another stone that isn't technically a pizza stone but though I have cooked pizza in it before and it is a 9 by 13 stone pan. So I'm going to be cooking and baking with all of these for you today. As I'm doing so, please feel free to comment below what your favorite thing is to make in a stone. And as always, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you have your notifications on so that you know when one of my videos comes live. One thing a lot of people don't realize they can make on a stone is desserts. So today I'm making a Pampered Chef recipe I have in this book here that's for dessert pizza. Basically start with a boxed brownie mix and I'm putting it on parchment paper on the stone because that's what the recipe officially says but guys I'm sure you could just put it directly on the stone. <laughs> So you're gonna just put that brownie into bake until it's nice and crispy. And then on top, I'm making a mix here. It's two packages of cream cheese, one can of drained crushed pineapple, and two tablespoons of icing sugar. Then chop up bananas and fresh strawberries, Top your pizza with that creamy mix, then your fruit. And then you're also gonna top it with peanuts and chocolate sauce. My kids absolutely love this dessert. Cut it up like a pie when you're done. It's perfect for a special occasion or a birthday. And another dessert that not many people know that you can make on a pizza stone is cookies. So I'm making homemade chocolate chip cookies today. And I love cookies on a stone because they cook so evenly, you never get burnt bottoms, and they're just ooey and gooey in the middle. I just, I don't know, there's something about warm cookies from a pizza stone that is just better than any type of cookie sheet you can use. My kids especially like though a giant cookie. So here my daughter is helping out to make a humongous cookie. They actually do this for their school fair every year where you can make a huge cookie and then decorate it. And then she's just topping it with some chocolate chips, but you can top it with anything of your choice. Smarties, raisins, scorbits, nuts, pretty much whatever you want and it comes out to be this kind of monster cookie, but it's so much fun. Now, potatoes are really a staple in our home and my husband loves roasted potatoes, so he's helping out tonight and we're just simply putting olive oil and mixed herbs in raw diced potatoes. Mm -hmm. 
and then you just lay it out on your pizza stone and bake for like a little over an hour on 350 degrees. And they come out just sizzling and so delicious and way better than like fried potatoes for your health. And best of all, they don't stick to the pan. So if you're baking potatoes in the oven, a lot of times you have to use like tin foil or, or a lot of spray so that they don't stick to your pan. You don't have to do that with a stone. And now we've got French fries. So same with the potatoes. You don't need to coat the pan with any oil or anything. You just pop them in the oven and they make such delicious crispy fries. Again, way better than deep fried, but who wants just plain old french fries, guys? Let's mix it up. So I'm gonna make loaded fries today. So after I've cooked the fries, I top it with cheese, peppers, onion, bacon bits, and then some ranch dressing. <laughs> Nobody said this was low fat, everybody. And then you're gonna pop that in your still heated oven and really honestly like five minutes and all of those toppings are gonna crisp and bubble right up. And it tastes like you have loaded fries from a pub or a really good restaurant and it didn't really take that much effort at all. Lasagna, lasagna is one of my favorites to make in my nine by 13 stone. And my recipe is just pre-cooked lasagna noodles. We've got just a meat sauce with ground beef and canned tomato sauce. And my filling is half a cup grated Parmesan cheese, two eggs, and one tub of cottage cheese. And in between all my layers, you can see that I put lots of mozzarella cheese as well. But the reason I like baked lasagna in the oven in a stone is because there's like a crispy factor to it that I just don't get from a glass 9x13. I'm not sure what it is, but it almost tastes like you're cooking in like a cast iron. It's so homey, comforting. Mm. If you haven't tried lasagna in a stone, give it a try. Another meat you should definitely cook is chicken. I'm doing it on my bar pan right now, and a lot of people don't realize that you can cook meat on a stone. I'm putting my Epicure lemon dilly herbs on top, and when you cook meat on a stone, it's totally like fine. When you wash your stone, um, you don't usually use soap to wash it off. I think that's why people are leery about cooking meat, but we do it all the time, never gotten food poisoning. But one of my very favorites is to make our own chicken quesadillas. So just cheese, chicken morsels. I've got some garlic scapes, peppers, onions. And when you make these in the oven baked on a stone, it's just so much healthier than like a restaurant quesadilla, which is usually fried in oil, but it tastes almost exactly the same. I usually let it sit for a little bit after I've taken the quesadillas out of the oven just to let them cool down because you can see how melty the cheese is. And then we cut them up to serve. How many of you use scissors to cut things up instead of a pizza cutter in your kitchen? I mean, I have a pizza cutter, but I actually prefer scissors. It just seems a lot easier. And we like to serve our quesadillas with a side of homemade salsa and sour cream. Yum. Chicken fingers. All I can say about chicken fingers is they taste better on a stone. I don't know why, but there is just a crispiness to them that I don't get otherwise. So definitely try out chicken fingers. But the ultimate meat on a stone is bacon. If you have a lipped bar pan like this, the perfect way to season it initially when you first get your pan is to cook bacon in it. It just helps absorb grease into the pan, but you guys will not believe the taste of bacon when it is baked on a pan. Oh, just so, so good. <laughs> Let's just have a moment here to eat some bacon. I'm not done guys, I'm still eating bacon here. Try it and let me know in the comments what you think. And 
the last thing I'm cooking today goes great with bacon for breakfast, and that is homemade biscuits. Homemade biscuits are a real comfort food for us in our home, and if you don't have my recipe for biscuits, I will link a video for you that has the recipe in it, but basically I use my biscuit topping for so many different things besides just making biscuits. And when I bake them, I mean, you could bake it on the flat pizza stone too. I just happened to use a nine by 13 today because that's what I had on hand, but um, they turn out so well and the bottoms are perfectly browned and just crispy all over. They're just a favorite of mine on a stone. All right, how did you like those everyone? Let me know with a thumbs up if you found something new that you'd like to try in your own kitchen. And here are some videos to the side, more of me in the kitchen. If you're interested in joining me on some more cooking adventures, I'd love to see you there. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was an honor spending my time with you, and I hope you're finding a little bit of joy in your life today. For the least, this is Jen.